Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Jeff, and today we're going to go look for some chaga. We're going to walk around my property here where I know there's some chaga growing. And uh, we're just going to take a little bit, not too much, just enough to have some chaga tea for the winter. So normally I would bring a backpack, probably a hatchet, depending how far I was going and hiking through the woods. But today we don't need too much. Even, I would even bring a, a bigger axe if I was going to try and go a little higher up. Sometimes all you would really need is a screwdriver and a small rubber hammer. You could just kind of tap it in. Works pretty good. And very light, easy to carry. Alright, so let's start. We're going to go on a little hike. a little bit of chaga. So this is chaga that I harvest probably about five or six years ago. So I, I left enough in there so it would grow back. And it's growing pretty good. So we're not going to touch this one. We're going to leave it for today. And I see a little bit more over there so we'll go check that out. So you can see here we got a little bit of chaga here in this tree. Pretty low to the ground so it's easy to easy to harvest. Down here also you can pick it off pretty easy. Now when I'm looking for chaga, usually uh, when I'm looking around, I find it and then you wouldn't have to look too far and you will probably find more. So depending on how high it is on the tree and how much you really need it, that's what you would take. I think we're going to leave this one. We're going to get it another time. I know where it's at so I can come back when I need more. Then we'll just keep on going. Okay. This is the chaga I want to take today. This is what we're going to harvest. Pretty easy to recognize. It only grows on birch trees. So you can tell by uh, the black kind of charcoal-y color on the outside that it is chaga. And it has like an orangey golden color on the inside, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Now, this here is enough probably for a year for me. I might not even take it all. And if you look around, there's even more. I see another big chunk over there. I see another chunk over there that I'll show you in a bit. But right now we're going to take this one. We're not going to worry too much about uh, taking a lot. We're going to leave some. So I'm just going to tap it. And you'll see it breaks off very easy. And then you can see the color. So you know you have chaga. So that's a lot of bark on that. So don't worry about it. I'm just going to give one little chop. And pop it. And there you go. Chaga. And you know it's chaga by the color and because it's on a birch tree. So we'll take one more little piece and we'll leave a lot of that so it'll grow back. And this is more than enough for me for quite a few months for sure. I'll dry it and drink it. It'll be great. All right, let's move on. So here's another nice little chunk. We're going to leave this one. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Well, uh, maybe we'll get it in a couple of months or towards the end of the season. It's always good to harvest it before the leaves come on the trees. So what I want to show you is that you don't really need to harvest a lot of chaga. You only need a little bit. So that is plenty. That's going to do me for a couple of months for sure. Once it's all grinded up in the tea. So what I like to do right away when it's still a little uh, soft from being so fresh is when I chop it up Try and get the bark off of it. Leave a lot of the black stuff because that's pretty healthy too. Like I'm, I'm sure I don't have to tell you how healthy chaga is, you know. What I like to do is to make it fairly small chunks for when I grind it. So now that it's fresh, it's easy to break up. So chop, chop, chop. And you can see the lovely color. Perfect.
Okay, I'll just go pick them up. So here's what we have. We have a few little chunks. Just like that. Now what I'm gonna do, me personally, I like to wait exactly three days. And then it's dry enough, but yet damp enough that it's easy to grind into a tea. So I'll wait three days and then I'll put them in my grinder and uh, we'll have some chaga tea.